In our lecture today, we explore how resilience, far from being a mere tool for survival, can be a potent catalyst for profound social transformation. Our journey will take us from the historical narrative of the Zuni Pueblo in New Mexico in the 17th century to the women-led social movements of the Arab Spring in the early 21st century. Our first stop is in the American Southwest among the Zuni Pueblo, an indigenous tribe that exhibited remarkable resilience in resisting Spanish colonialism in the 1600s. The Zuni Pueblo Revolt of 1680, often considered a part of the broader Pueblo Revolt, stands a significant testament to the resilience of the Zuni people in the face of Spanish colonialism. Spanish colonizers attempted to convert the Pueblo Indians, including the Zuni, to Catholicism and suppress their indigenous religious practices. They imposed heavy taxes and harsh punishments, leading to widespread unrest among the Pueblo communities. However, rather than succumb, the Zuni, along with other Pueblo tribes, coordinated an organized, large-scale rebellion. The revolt was the, more than a military resistance. It was a cultural uprising aimed at preserving Zuni customs, beliefs, and autonomy. The revolt, marked by the expulsion of the Spanish from the region for more than a decade, allowed the Zuni to reclaim their religious freedom and reaffirm their cultural identity. After the return of the Spanish, Pueblo peoples continue to resist by utilizing the concept of religious syncretism to preserve their traditional beliefs while outwardly adopting Catholicism. This meant blending elements of Catholic and Zuni religious practices to create a hybrid system that met the external requirements of the colonizers while maintaining the core of their indigenous beliefs. For instance, one key aspect of Zuni religion is the veneration of ancestors and natural spirits known as kachinas. Despite Spanish pressures, the Zuni continued their kachina worship in secret, sometimes even conflating these ancestral spirits with Catholic saints. This allowed them to continue venerating their kachinas, even within the framework of the imposed religion. Similarly, Zuni ritual practices, such as dances and feasts, were recontextualized within the narrative of Christian festivals. This outward semblance of Christian practice masking deeper indigenous significance allowed the Zuni to preserve their rituals under the guise of Catholic customs. A significant example is the Shalako Festival. It is a ceremony to bring prosperity and good health that is held in late November or early December coinciding with the Christian Advent season. This syncretism allowed the Zuni to maintain their spiritual rituals within the framework of, Catholic, uh, of the Catholic liturgical calendar. Through this syncretic blend, the Zuni were able to maintain their spiritual autonomy and cultural heritage, demonstrating resilience in the face of religious oppression and a cultural erasure. Fast forwarding now to the 2000s, we witnessed the birth of the Arab Spring, a revolutionary wave of demonstrations, protests, and civil wars in the Arab world. Women were at the forefront, embodying resilience in their fight to, for societal transformation. Asma Mahfouz is a shining example of a woman who has been instrumental in transforming her culture and improving her community's life. She achieved this by leveraging social media to call for action, championing women's rights, and advocating for political change. On January 18, 2011, Asma posted a video blog that quickly went viral. She called on Egyptians to demand their human rights and protest against corruption, challenging her fellow citizens to join her in the peaceful protest on January 25th in Tahir Square. This video sparked what we now know as the Egyptian Revolution, making social media a powerful tool for political mobilization and societal transformation. Asma just, uh, didn't just stop at political change. She worked tirelessly to challenge traditional gender norms and fought for women's equal participation in Egypt's political discourse. As a founding member of the activist group, April 6th Youth Movement, she advocated for women's rights and equality asserting that the fight against political corruption must include the battle against gender discrimination. Despite threats and opposition, Asma remained committed to peaceful protest as the means to achieve change. Her firm stance against violence further galvanized people to join the revolution, uniting Egyptians from all walks of life in a peaceful demand for change. 
Her commitment to peaceful protests as a mode of transformation served as a model, promoting a culture of peaceful dissent and the quest for democratic freedoms. In these ways, Asma Mahfouz exemplifies one person's resilience and how it, it, that determination can inspire a nation and bring about significant cultural transformation. As we navigate our individual and collective futures, let's carry forward the lessons from the Zuni and the women of the Arab Spring, that resilience can fuel change, that challenging norms can lead to transformation, and that we, as individuals and communities, have the power to shape our societies.